It's a Wednesday afternoon, a cold one as usual in northern Minnesota. It is a Wednesday, the 4th of January. Hello, Andrea. How are you? Good. How are you? I am uh, thawing out, more or less, (laughs) kind of. Andrea's from the Campbell Library in East Grand Forks. What's your official title there? I'm the program coordinator. And what does that mean? That means I get to do all the fun stuff at the library. Well, you get the fun stuff. Yeah. Well, story time. time and yeah, that's babies right. and Legos. Yeah, yeah. Now, you've instituted quite a few things there, haven't you? Baby bounce? Yes. Pat yourself on the back. All right. Yeah, very good. Very successful. And these programs emphasize how diverse that uh, building is. Yes. When it comes to events and activities. Have a good Christmas, by the way. I had an excellent holiday. And good holiday, good uh, New Year's. Any resolutions for you this year? I don't have any resolutions, except I I do have some reading goals for the year. And that's why you're here. That is why I'm here. What a coincidence. Our topic today is uh, reading goals and challenges for 2017. That's a very broad topic. Yes. And our goal here is to break that down. When reading, should one have goals? You don't have to have goals, but sometimes people, when people read a lot, they might want to have a little more direction to their reading. So maybe they're stuck in a rut and they've been reading a lot of Amish romances and they <laughs> need something a little different. So that's where some of the reading challenges help with that. So you're talking variety here then? Sometimes variety, okay. sometimes number. All right. Sometimes types of books. Like, I, I, I pulled up a couple online, which I'm going to post on our Facebook page. You should like us if you haven't already on Facebook. Okay. And one of them that I really liked is the the Mount To Be Read Reading Challenge, which is where you read only books that you already own in your house. <laughs> oh, really? You can't count library books, which is a problem for me. I just buy books and buy books and then yeah, read library yeah. books. So how do I organize my reading goals? Well, there is... Is there a process or, or, um, or not? There could be. So okay. there are some preset challenges that are out there. Um, Book Riot has a really good one called Read Harder, and they give you a list of tasks. Like some of them are read a book about war, read a debut novel, read a travel novel. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there are other ones like Goodreads. Goodreads, you can set your own challenge. So you can say, I'm going to read 12 books this year. And then you just, it's up to you to read those. I would imagine this is uh, a good thing. And in my case, it would be a good thing because it's a motivation for me. Right. If you don't have that guideline, that encouragement, it's easy to fall off the wagon. Yeah. I'm a little competitive. My husband will tell you that when we play board games. So this is a way for me to be competitive (laughs) against myself. Oh, really? (laughs) So when you play board games, it's not for fun. It's to win. Yes. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> he doesn't like to play board games with me very much. Okay. No, this is a great idea because I have had so much going on in my life, I've excused myself from not reading as often as I could, which is pretty common, right? Yes. If I only had time, I would read more. Have you heard that before? Yes, all the time. Oh, yeah, all the time. So this would help me in getting a habit down for reading. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And okay. I mean, like, you can get you can get quite a bit read if you... I read on my 15-minute breaks at work, and that enables me to... Because I'm, I'm a busy person. I do a lot of stuff. Right. So, But okay. I, still get, I still get quite a bit read. Campbell Library has uh, personnel on hand, like yourself, who are there for many reasons, and one of them is to help. So a listener out there right now says, you know what? I'm not quite sure how to start this where to go, come on in and chat, right? Yes, I love to chat about reading. Yeah. A little more about reading. Uh, Why is reading good for people? Why is reading? Reading. Why is reading good for people? Reading is. What benefits? Great for people. Why? It gives, it's a stress (laughs) reliever. Okay, there's one. It um, expands your mind. You learn new things. There's two. It can help you have conversations with other people. So you can mm-hmm. say, hey, guess what book I just read? There you go. I like that, too. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. just a small amount of the things. That I imagine, too, it would help in creativity. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes. You're never too young to learn how to read. Well, I've... I don't know about that. You're never too young to be read to. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I have a daughter named Megan who has a newborn baby, okay, Okay. a uh, grandson of mine. And she is a prolific reader, and she has been since she was about uh, 02. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. She taught herself to read. <laughs> I believe it. Before she went to preschool. <laughs> 
Okay. So I, I can see the benefits of reading in her. Very yeah, good. yeah. And we tell we tell parents all the time, it's never too young to read to your babies. Like even if they're not, it seems like they're not paying attention. Right. They really still are absorbing information, and it's helping them make brain connections. And I'm sure you see that in baby bones. Definitely. Every week. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Any uh, goals for the year for Campbell? Uh, I know it's early in January. We're always looking for new things to do, okay. new exciting things. We've got a new program program that I'm hoping to get up and running soon is called we're calling it Tinker Town. Tinker Town. Yeah, engaged it's for elementary school students um, and we're hoping to have a bunch of science, technology, engineering, art and math activities oh. for them to do. So I've got some cool gadgets and gizmos that okay. I want to show them like we just got a robot last year, a Sphero mm-hmm. robot yeah. that runs around the floor. So I think they could have fun with that. That sounds fun. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. I have so much fun. Yeah, and that's a good thing. Again, Andrea, our guest, and our uh, topic today, reading goals and challenges for 2017. They can visit us. You can give us a call. Uh, you can visit our website mm-hmm. or our Facebook page, egfcampbelllibrary.org. Very good. Have I missed anything, Andrea? No, I don't think so. All right. Well, keep warm. You too. Enjoy the winter. You too. Campbell Corner every Wednesday just after 3 on Pioneer 90.1.